Well, Frank, sometimes you got to say you're sorry in life, okay? And uh, a fellow YouTuber told me that I owe the whole YouTube community an apology. So I'm going to apologize. Like everybody? Well, I think he's... YouTuber, the tool community. I'm going to talk to... I'm going to, I'm going to apologize to the, the fellow YouTube tool guys out there. I think I did him a disservice. Okay? So Frank, get the camera. We're going to do a live fucking apology. Get a camera. Yeah. Does it, <laughs> these cameras can move, right? Yeah. Like, grab a camera. Mike, right, come on, follow me. Hey, YouTube community, I'm sorry for offending Jeff the beer guy. Okay? Thanks, guys. Well, since most of the YouTubers are bottom, bottom dwellers living in basements, I figured I would do it properly. Okay. What? No good? <laughs> and he... Listen, I'm going to make this real fast and not talk about the beer ever again because he's really not <laughs> that important and creepy. he's a little creepy. But listen to me. He said, I did that in order to, like, you know, use his notoriety for views, right? Yeah. That's what sales. he said. In sales. So let me read a little something to you. Hey there. My name is Jeff King, better known as Red the Tool Beer on YouTube. Anyway, we try to do... Tool deals of the week every Monday. One of my viewers told me to check you guys out, LOL. Love the video on the hammers. Oddly enough, I was thinking of doing a video on that subject. Anyway, all I really wanted to say is if you have any killer online deals you want me to promote, I'd be happy to include them in the video. Just email them to me no later than 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Shine on, red. Dated February 12th, 2021. So, I don't ever ask any YouTubers to help me out, ever. It's not my thing, okay? And for the record, I have a couple friends that are YouTubers, more than one, more than two, more than three, that have a lot of followers. Millions, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands. I have a lot of YouTube friends. I never ask anybody for anything. I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, at, this party, I'm at this party for one, for myself, okay? I don't need any help. I'll do it myself. I have Nick and I have Frankie. So I need. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> the whole beer thing. I just can't get over it. Listen, enough. <laughs> enough. Sorry, we're we're, we're done. <clears throat> we're back to we're the moving <laughs> past the beer. He's done. No more beer. Oh my Ooh. God. He was upset. He wrote a. He wrote a. He wrote a paragraph this long, uh, and I was just Did like. You read it. I read. I read most of it. I. I, I can't. I hate like reading. Some like, more comment. They got it. Like I'm not gonna read that. Yeah. It's like. It's like. I read like. A, I read like a short novel. <laughs> But, uh, anyway. yeah, but listen, listen, at the end of the day, Frankie, get the camera again. Let's walk around. <laughs> I just want to show you guys something, okay? Just follow me around with the camera, Frank. Look, look, this is all inventory. Frank, you got you to gotta, you gotta show where, the, where I'm pointing now. That's all inventory, okay? I mean, there's, there's oh, don't trip over to $4,000 scanner. This is all tools that we sell, okay? This is all inventory I brought in, okay? Frank, follow me. This is all tools. Look. Tools. Frank, you got it. You got to go where I'm pointing, Frank. Yeah, I want to keep you in shot too. Okay. Tools. Come here. I got more. All inventory. Follow me, Frank. I got more. I'm, I'm like a I got so much goddamn inventory. I got all these boots. I got sockets. I got grease guns. I got boots. I got jump starters. Look at all this shit we got. In these boxes, hella grease guns. And take a look at this beauty. K-Tool backlit inflator. Fucking awesome. Good recording, Frankie. Let's go in the front. You're getting a raise this week. All right, sit down. You guys so, done dancing around? Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just making a point. If you're if you're a, a, a YouTuber tool guy, you're all you are is a shill or a spokesperson, right? There's no money vested in it. If you have a set, 
you're a shill, right? If you have this fake set that you build with your boom microphone, you know, no matter who you are, I'm not just picking on him, I'm, I'm talking about the whole community. This is not a set. Literally five minutes before we shoot every morning, <clears throat> I say, clear the table. This is our shipping table. Clear the table. It puts, and I tell Nick, put stuff you want to talk about on the table. So, guys, if your algorithm changes or Harbor Freight stops sending you free tools, your views go down, now you have to get a job, a real job, right? Think about it. I'm a salesman. I have something to sell. Somebody will buy it online, in the route, or walk through the door. This is not fake. You're fake. Wow. Well, uh, this is this is this is called tough love. Okay. I mean, we'll stop you when you're wrong. Yeah, it's just like you know, uh, you know, the Harbor Freight. You know, they send me free this, free that. I talk about it. What? You're a. Whole you're literally a. Whole you're you're, the lowest. And, I'm not, and again, I'm not talking about the beer guy. I'm talking about in general. So don't think, don't take this personal. This is not. And, I'm, and I like you. I don't, I'm not even mad at you. I, I used to watch you when you were the beer guy. I did watch him. When he went live the other day. And I guess he's building a set. I'm sure it's in his basement or garage or some shit. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just worry about me. I, I watch YouTube. I don't even watch tool content that much anymore. I mainly watch truck videos and car videos. Yeah, I don't watch any tool content. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of, uh, what's that guy? The video guy, Al uh, uh, Angry Grandpa? No, the guy The guy does the... Oh, Amagansett Press? Amagansett Press. I'm a big, big, I'm a big fan of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan too, but I don't know if I necessarily like the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan. I, I, I watch him, but I don't know if I like him. <laughs> I like the one where he was in Jersey and he tried being an asshole in New Jersey and they were like... <laughs> the guy said, just relax. Don't, what, what are you going to wound up for? I, like, I, I do watch Whistle Diesel. I do. Miami right. Boat Ramps. Huh? Miami Boat Ramps. I, That's I, my watch, favorite. I, I like Mike the, Mike, the, Mike the Scavenger is my oh, favorite. Mm. He's and I, and, I, and I, do, I do watch Chris Fix and I do watch Rob Freddy. That's my, that's my, my, uh, my favorite ones. FSC Trucking too. I like him a lot. He's from New Jersey. I, what are we doing? Let's no, talk about... <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm over the bear guy. It's, it's fine. You don't, you don't like me. I don't like you. You know, whatever. Your wife doesn't like me. I don't like her. She doesn't like me. And yeah, she was involved. Yeah, she was involved her. talking about me. I don't care. I don't care. My mother liked me. That's all I care about. My, my wife likes me. Nick and Frankie, not so much. I don't know sometimes. <sighs> Let's talk tools, guys. We've had some really good... Sell we had, listen, and at the end of the day, I like to buy closeout deals, good prices, to give back to you guys. And recently, we, we, we dealt with a company called CTA, they're in New Jersey, and uh, we bought a bunch of closeout stuff, and we got a really, really good deal on them. And uh, we did it, you know, you, know, you know the prices? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we did a two-pack, little wire connectors, little, little wire, wire jump leads, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, they're online for like 10, 12 bucks, right? And they're made where, Nick? USA. USA. And we did a two-pack for $9.95? <clears throat> $10. Ten dollars for a two pack. So we have we, we gave you regular internet pricing, but gave you two. Whoa! And they're made where, Nick? Yusa. 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 Little island off Japan or <laughs> China? No, they're made in the United States. There's a tag right on there that says "Made in USA." That's nice. That's nice. We nice. sold a bunch of these, and we did a little uh, fluid transfer sucky sucky things. It's a long time, and we did a two pack of these for twelve bucks, right? Yeah, something like that. Two pack, twelve bucks. You never know. You listen. You don't need this till you need it. And when you need it, you're gonna wish you had it. I brought one home from my garage because I, you know, we, my my nephew said I need this, not this. Another nephew, one was hiding behind the thing over there. He said, no, we remember we worked on Jeep. We needed something to suck the fluid out of the, the master cylinder or some shit. Well, here we got one now. And so two for twelve, two for ten, two for twelve, and we're doing the uh, torque angle meter things. And this is kind of old school because a lot of guys use digital torque wrenches. I do not like digital torque wrenches even a little bit. <clears throat> when I was a mechanic. Actually, I was, that was, I, I, at this point, I don't even think about when I was a mechanic. I was a mechanic when I was a kid. I've been in a tool truck since I'm 19 years old, but I still work on Harleys and Jeeps. Not Harleys so much anymore, but I do still own my Harleys. And torque angle is very important, on, especially with the motors I used to work on. I used to work on the 1340cc Evo engines, and we had to torque the head bolts to 30 pounds and then 90 degree index them. Okay? 
And on a Harley, it's very easy because you just you put a little marker and just connect it. But if you don't have if you don't have the room or area to do that, this is a great tool to have. And we got a really good deal on these. And how much are these? Take your time, Nick. Well, I had all my Nobody's prices watching up. anyway. I had all my prices up that I figured you're going to yell at me for being on my phone, but they're $30. This is $30. I forgot it. Do we post these? Yeah. This is an audible circuit tester, 12, 24, and 48 volts. Now, I'm sure if somebody showed up at your shop in a tool truck and tried to sell you one, this would be a $1 million. But I think we're going to beat that price by a little bit. And how much is it? $38. $38. That's a bargain. Nick, where can you find all these tools? On the JD Tico app or jerseydiscounttool.com. Nick, I have the app. It doesn't work anymore. Probably, you're probably running the old version. So what should you do? You should delete that one and then just search JD Tico on the app store and download the new one. That's Easy peasy. And this would be in the CTA section or the clearance section? Yes. Both? Both. Genius. And, yeah. This was the hottest seller, I think. Yeah, there's a nice this is a, the uh, disconnect. It's an offset disconnect set for all your pesky uh, refrigerant lines, fuel lines, water lines, whatever. These are all the rage. How much is this? Sorry, Why do I bother? $35. This is $35. Nick, you go fast with that one. Could you leave? Uh, hang on. Okay, I think we're done with the CTA. I, think everything, I know the prices on everything else on the table. This weekend, I'll be going to Atlantic City for an indoor car race. Uh, GDT is sponsoring the number 83 car, right? Colorico Motorsports. Give them, a, give them a, a like on Facebook. All right. Calvin. Camera. Okay? Yeah. Pistol Wi-Fi scope. Wi scope. Yes. Use it with your phone? Yes. Right? It's got the little holder. The phone is not included. The what are you talking about? There's a picture of the phone right here. They put on there, the phone's not included? I think on the website picture it does. Okay. We got a really good deal on these. These are 80, excuse me, $89. In stock? In stock. Clearance. Price. Tons of them. Clearance section. Okay. I don't know why, but Nick bought us. Bunch of these yesterday. Vessel. We love Vessel screwdriver. Nick, we love Vessel screwdriver. Yeah, we had a nice little meeting with them. We had a Zoom call yesterday with, with Vessel, right? Yeah. We got a big, big project coming up with Vessel, right? I think we're going to Japan. I think we're going to Japan. What do you think about? What do you think about that? We're working with we're working with somebody on a deal, and they're like, "Tell them to fly us out to to to, uh, to the factory." Well, I mean, we're gonna have to buy our own tickets. I don't think they're gonna fly us anywhere. They they will, they will graciously maybe they will. What do you think? They would host us. They should host us. Buy us dinner. What do you eat over there? Good food. Really the sushi? Is this sushi, sushi Japanese? Yeah. I don't do sushi so much. I feel like if you're in Japan, you kind of have to experience it. Yeah. We were, we were out to dinner with, with Chris, and uh, he was talking about his Japanese trip that he did. Oh, yeah. And he, he said they were eating blowfish. He's like, my mouth was getting a little numb. <laughs> That's pretty poisonous. He goes, he goes, I didn't want to eat blowfish. He goes... So he goes, you know, he goes, I asked if it was blowfish. He's like, no, 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 no. And he's eating. He's like, it's puffer fish. <laughs> 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 They're trying to kill him. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so we, we had a, we had a, we hopefully got a really, fingers crossed, we had a really big thing coming up with Vessel, and it's going to be something that's never, ever been done before in the tool industry, right? Yeah. This is their composite set. This is a nice set. I love Vessel screwdrivers. They have the best screwdrivers in the world. It's made out of samurai steel. I always I say that. if I had needed a set of vessels, I would get those. Would you? Yeah, this nice. is the composite wood handle one. So if your hands are greasy, grimy, and your your hands are going to slip, not with these. These are the real deal. Back in the day when I was a Mac tool dealer, and in the 80s, we used to sell wooden handle screwdrivers. When I first seen you know, like, why would anybody buy wooden handle screwdrivers? But the transmission rebuilder guys always bought them because no matter how oily your hands were they didn't slip Did you know that no next next listen i've been doing this a there's no more transmission shops anyway there's very very few back in the day there was one there was one every town had at least two or three of them that and rat eater shops they're they've gone by the wayside too what so we have a lot of good deals on vessel roll j j i s and these are 
85 bucks at website, right? Yes. Hey guys, do you prefer EVA foam or vacuum formed trays? Leave in the comments below. Okay guys, real quick, a little shameless plug for myself, JD Tico. We uh, brought these in about a year ago. It's a two pack. I'll show you what they do in a second. But one's a center punch, one's a chisel. But we, what we did here to be a little different is we put them in this little uh, two piece holder just so you can keep track of them and know where they are and protect them. And these are $25 available on the app and website. And these were the big rage back in the day. Some crazy guy invented them out in the other coast. I don't even, I don't even That's know. That's a perfect name. example of the shiny object in the room. Yeah, remember they were, they were so popular for Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, he got really mad. He did a whole video on YouTube with some truck driver guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're like, he, 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 they stole my idea. Your patent ran out. Slow down. People steal everybody's ideas every day of the week. Your patent ran out 20 years ago, so everybody's copied it. Not only me. There's more people out there. Hit tool. Mayu, right? Yeah, Mayu makes her own. Mayu's is pretty nice, too. Yeah, but is this nice. is mine. It's 25 bucks with this nice holder. Okay? App website. Okay. One last thing. Easy Red. They make the best, I, I think, in my opinion, they make them the sexiest. Let's see if they'll fall off. What do you think? That's pretty impressive. Okay. Now, some people say, you got to shake it. You got to move it around. I mean, I, it, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it, I, I, they, they will fall off eventually, I'm assuming. But that's pretty impressive. Wow. Guys with the service trucks love them because they don't fall off. Guys with the service trucks love them because they don't fall off. Right? That's true. Unless it's an aluminum service truck, then that doesn't, it won't work. If it's an aluminum service truck, it's not going to work. You could, I mean, maybe you could drill it to it, but I don't think you want to Maybe you could drill it to it. <laughs> I, don't think you, I don't think you want to drill holes in your nice aluminum. You don't want to drill holes in your nice aluminum. You know, it's funny because, like, there's a million guys out there selling tools like me. There is. But, I mean, like, everybody has their own style. My style is have, to have fun. We come to the store every day to have fun. We sell tools, we make a lot of power moves, but at the end of the day, we like to have a little fun and have a, you know, a nice atmosphere, right? We do. Come on, Charties. Look at that. Price on them. Oh, $39.99. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to let him go. Yeah, we love Easy Red. Yeah, we have all the green stuff in stock, red. We have all the green stuff in stock. And red. And red. It's all right there. Right? Those aren't just empty boxes. <laughs> these are not empty boxes. <laughs> and that's another thing. Like you, you, know, you see all these guys on YouTube and TikTok and fucking Instagram. And it's a set. It's a set. It's fake. If you're a YouTuber on a set, you're fake. Like Mr. Dooba Doo over there. I mean, like, you're literally in your shed in front of a toolbox. I, I want the camera he's got. I want the camera he's got that makes him look like he's, like... Somewhere. The, He's in a shed. Did you ever see the Mako girl on TikTok that doesn't like him? She no. She some beef with him. Really? Yeah. I like her. I, I messed, she messaged me the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, that's her. Did you get back to her with the price? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, she got beef with Mr. Subaru. Because he's fake. I mean, yeah. nobody likes fake she people. She called him out big time for the whole sh thing. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, this is a real store. You can walk into the door. You can't walk in now because the door's locked. Right? The sign's out there? Mm hmm Anyway, guys, listen to me. I don't have beef with anybody. I, I just like to, you know, have fun and mix it up a little bit. If this is your cup of tea, thank you for watching. If it's not your cup of tea, go watch somebody in a beer costume. I don't, I don't care. You were supposed to put me in a beer costume. Can you do it? Hey, guys, it's Nick from JD Tico. Woo! <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! Come for the price, stay for the show. Y'all, peace.